Good morning, everybody. This is Father Gophels, and it is a privilege and pleasure to do this great prayer with all of you. So let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I'd like to ask you to bow your heads and clear your heads of all of the things going on right now. All of the schoolwork you're doing, all of the class time you're spending, all of the activities that are going on around you, and the world that's going on around us. Let us take that out of our heads and just be in the presence of God. So that presence is important. And let's remember that all of us are in the presence of our God in a very special way when we pray. And ask God right now for help in your prayer. Gratitude is so important, especially in the holidays. So let's recall two or three things that happened today for which all of us are especially grateful. Let us take a moment to savor them and then let us thank God for all of these great gifts. And because this is the prayer of examine, when we look at our lives to see where God is present and where we have not acknowledged God's presence, let us review our day from start to finish, noticing where we experienced God's presence. Notice everything and every place where God was present to you, from large to small, from an enjoyable interaction with a friend to the feel of the beautiful sun on your face. When did you love, and when were you loved? And sorrow. All of us have sinned today, or done something we regret. And by sin, I don't mean something terrible, but all of us are a mess. All of us do things that make us be less than the self that God created us to be. And we do things that aren't who we want to be and exp as we express ourselves to the world. So bring that sorrow for those times of mess to God and ask for forgiveness. If it's a big mess, pray about seeking forgiveness from the person offended or ask for the Sacrament of Reconciliation from one of the priests here at Loyola or in your parish. And finally, feel God's grace. None of the above makes sense without that grace, because it is in that grace that we become the people that God created us to be. In this understanding of grace in your life, you may want to return to a meaningful part of your prayer and speak to God about how you felt. And at the close of that prayer, ask for God's grace for today and tomorrow and all of your life. And this examine is part of who we are as human beings and part of our daily prayer, our practice of our faith. So as over time you pray this examine, you'll notice God's presence in the moment more and more, rather than just at the end of the day. You'll see that your whole day can be a kind of prayer. And soon you'll discover that you've become, as all Jesuits like to say, a contemplative in action. And so we bring our prayer to a close by saying together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. St. Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great day. Thank you all.